One of our biggest problems uh, is, is we see a lot of times is, is weakness in the right arm or shoulder pain. A lot of times it comes from these muscles called the scalenes that sit right under here under our collarbone into the side of our neck that cause a lot of the problems. So what we want to do is keep those muscles released and loose. There's really two ways, two things that I found that's effective because I have this issue on my right side. Number one is you got to get a lacrosse ball and really get in and dig along this area here to really kind of release those scalings. So what I'll do is take the lacrosse ball and I'll put it on the wall here like so. And I'll put it underneath my collarbone and I'll look for tight areas. Once I find one, I'm going to just sit on it. And I'm just going to release it, you know, sit on it, kind of like a massage therapist would, let it hold and then release it. And so that's number one. Um, it's just to kind of work along this area here. And then number two, to really stretch that muscle group. It's a little trickier. I'm going to actually use a table here. Is we're going to take and we're going to anchor down here. And I'm actually going to push my collarbone down. I'm going to look up. And then not just to look up, and then I'm going to lean, look back over my shoulder a little bit. And ease into that. And you're going to feel a really good stretch working all the way up through there. And that really helps stretch that muscle. A lot of times you don't even realize it's tight but it can cause a lot of disruption here. I know when mine gets tight, um, it starts to cause weakness and starts to affect the nerve running down here as well. So once again, going in there, dig it up, dig it up with the crossbow, work out those tight spots, and then follow up with a good stretch here at the end. Uh, to, after once it's released, it'll stretch more favorably. And just stay on top of that, especially if you're a computer worker, this is gonna be more than vital for you. So that's our Flexibility Friday tip. We'll see you next week.